Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to use Let's Encrypt with Cert Manager to protect your web application with SSL certificates. Actually, I've done a video on this one, on this topic, a long time ago. So if I go to my channel, it's Cube37. Set up Let's Encrypt Cert Manager in Kubernetes bare metal. So I did that three years ago and someone mentioned that it's not working for them. I gave it a go and it actually worked fine apart from some of the components that I used has got uh, version upgrades and things like that. But I don't know why that uh, person mentioned that it's not working for them. But anyway, I decided to redo this video with all latest versions. And there are a couple of changes to this original video that I did. Not in the steps I mentioned in originally in this video, but uh, the way I'm going to deploy Let's Encrypt and uh, the other components that I'm going to use have changed slightly. So I've got a, I've got this video opened it opened in another tab here. So this is this was my original video back in 2019 May 2019. So what I did was I had a K is cluster based on LXE containers. I'm not using LXE containers anymore. And uh, back then when I was using, it was Helm version two, I guess, where you had to install Helm, the client side, and also you have to deploy Tiller on the Kubernetes side. And then uh, from Kubernetes, sorry, from Helm version three, they, they dropped Tiller. And all you have to do is just install Helm. And uh, with whatever permission you have with your kube config file, Helm will be able to deploy resources. And then Nginx ingress controller, Hache proxy load balancer and then we deployed cert manager using Jetstack chart cluster issuer we deployed a service we deployed the ingress resource we tested this setup so how is this video going to differ from cube 37 so first of all I'm not going to use LXC containers for my kubernetes cluster I'm going to be using virtualbox or libvirt and I've already got my kubernetes cluster here kubectl get notes it's my usual three node cluster with one master node and two worker nodes provisioned using my vagrant provisioning scripts. I'm running version 1.24 Kubernetes and I wasn't entirely sure what version of Kubernetes. I didn't completely watch this video. Um, I think it might be 1.13 or something, but definitely not LXC containers this time. I'm gonna be using, I think I'm running in VirtualBox this time and uh, no tiller we are using Helm version 3 as opposed to Helm version 2 on this video. If I do Helm version yes it was helm version 3.9.0 what else so ingress controller we are going to deploy ingress controller no doubt in it and instead of hache proxy load balancer we are going to be using metal lb load balancing solution in this video okay so if i do kubectl get namespace i have this cube sorry metal lb system namespace i have already deployed metal lb metal lb in my cluster if i do kubectl and metal lb system get all it's all running fine the controller component, speaker component, everything is running fine. I've already deployed Metal LB. I've done a lot of videos on Metal LB. I'll put a link to my latest Metal LB video that I did last week um, in this video description. If you want, you can check that out. So I'm not going to repeat the same steps for deploying Metal LB. I've covered that in most of my videos. So we've got a Kubernetes cluster. We have Helm and instead of Hache Proxy, I'm using Metal LB and we are going to deploy ingress um, nginx controller again in a lot of my videos i've done nginx ingress controller and uh, i think like three or four videos i've explained how to deploy nginx ingress controller but i haven't got any ingress controller deployed in the cluster right now so we're going to be doing that um, shortly and then we're going to be deploying the cert manager deploy the cluster issuer custom resource services and so on so now we're going to deploy the ingress controller so let's go and check the documentation ingress nginx install ingress nginx controller yep i think that's the one getting started document yep installation guide i'm going to be using uh, the helm method i've already got helm version 3 and i'll put a link to all the the links that i use in this video so this one is for installing the install guide for nginx ingress controller let's copy that paste it here it's going to take a, a minute or two i'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done all right the command completed it didn't take a minute it only took uh like 10 seconds or so okay so if i do helm list dash a and it got deployed in the ingress nginx namespace let's take a look at the ingress nginx namespace 
ingress nginx get all so we have the ingress nginx controller running fine and the ingress nginx controller service has got the load balancer ip address handed out by metal lb so for this you need metal lb in your cluster so we have sorted out the metal lb the ingress controller helm and the kubernetes cluster and the next step is to deploy the cert manager okay let's search for cert manager cert manager documentation installation introduction kubectl apply okay that's all i need it's quite simple but if you followed my original video cube 37 cert manager uh, by jetstack i think it was like a few commands you need to add a helm repository you need to create or label a namespace or something like that but they have improved their installation instructions and with this a newer version of uh, cert manager it's just one manifest that you need to deploy and the version is version 1.8.2 let's copy that and paste it right so that's huge number of resources that it deployed right so that should be a namespace yep cert manager and all these resources got created inside the namespace a lot of custom resource definitions, service accounts, config map, a lot of cluster roles, roles, deployment. Uh, there's no daemon set, but uh, let's take a look what's uh, been deployed. kubectl get namespace. There we go. We have cert manager. kubectl n cert manager get all. Yep, so we have three deployments cert manager, CA injector, webhook couple of services both of them are cluster ip nothing to do with load balancer so to me the sub manager is running fine so what we're going to do next is we are going to deploy an nginx application okay so kubectl create deploy nginx image nginx kubectl get all okay container is getting created let's also expose the service kubectl expose deploy nginx port 80 and i'm not going to expose this as a load balancer service because i've already got ingress controller deployed so i'm going to create an ingress resource next right so if i do kubectl get all right so what we have now is we've got a kubernetes cluster where we deployed metal lb and then nginx ingress controller followed by the cert manager deployments and now we've also created our web application which is just a sample and example nginx application uh, if you want if you like and then we expose that as a cluster ip service this nginx cannot be accessed from outside your kubernetes cluster this is cluster ip service so it can be accessed only within the kubernetes cluster anyway the next step we are going to do is we're going to create an ingress resource so that we can access this from outside our kubernetes cluster through the ingress controller which will route the traffic to this service all right so our aim here is basically to use cert manager to generate ssl certificate so that's it right so for that we need to create a custom resource called cluster issuer so if i do kubectl get crds and grep for cert manager so you have all these custom resources deployed by the cert manager when we deployed the cert manager manifest it created all these custom resources one of them is cluster issuer okay so do i have yep i do have my repository kubernetes repository cloned uh, to my local system so i'm going to go to my repository and in here if you want i'll put a link to my kubernetes repository in the video description if you want you can um, get clone it and in here if i go to yaml's cert manager demo so we have this cluster issuer dot yaml let's take a look at that the first thing after you deploy the cert manager the first thing you need to do is to deploy this cluster issuer i've already got an example here so when you deploy the cluster issuer there are a couple of ways there are a couple of things you can do so one is this you can see here the server we are using is the acme staging server for let's encrypt so that's going to give you fake SSL certificate you can use this for testing you can use this for development but don't use this for production there is uh, if you read the let's encrypt documentation you will have a separate URL for the production use cases so that will hand out real certificate but since we are just testing it out 
we're going to be using the staging URL so the uh, the certificates it's going to give us is going to be fake certificate self-signed certificate so whenever you have access your application from a web browser it's going to throw throw up a warning saying the certificate is not trusted because we don't have a certificate authority installed on our browser that actually signed this uh, certificate okay right so that's the the cluster issuer let's deploy that kubectl create minus f cluster issuer okay so that's created the next thing we going to do is in the same directory you have this ingress resource .yaml. let's take a look at that if i edit vi ingress resource .yaml. okay so it's it's a simple ingress resource you can see the host is nginx.example.com so basically traffic coming to nginx.example.com will be routed to my backend service nginx okay so if i do kubectl get service or kubectl get all in the default namespace so remember we deployed the nginx application we expose this as a cluster ip service and the service is called nginx running on port 80 so that's what it's uh, routing this ingress route tells the ingress controller to route the traffic for nginx.example.com to the nginx service on port 80 and again if i do kubectl get endpoints so that's the nginx service that has one endpoint because we have one pod running and if i do kubectl get pods dash o wide you can see the pods ip address is 132 and our service endpoint is 132 so that way we can confirm that we have one replica we have one endpoint which is active so it's going to work fine all right so we're going to deploy this ingress and there is one additional thing you need to do if you remember one of my free one of my recent videos we have to specify the ingress class that we want to use because we have an ingress class deployed already if i do kubectl get ingress class so we have an ingress class deployed already by the nginx ingress controller but that's not the default ingress class so you need to specify which ingress class you might be running more than one ingress controller in your kubernetes cluster so in each of your ingress resource you need to specify which ingress controller you're using by specifying the ingress class name so under spec i'm going to add ingress class name make a note of the the, the case ingress class name with uppercase c and uppercase n and i'm going to set that to nginx so that's all needed and you can also see the TLS options here. Secret name is Let's Encrypt Staging. Okay, let's deploy that. kubectl create minus F. That's created. kubectl get ingress. So we have nginx.example.com straight away. You can see the difference to all of our other ingress resources. This one is also listening on port 443. Let's take a look. kubectl describe ingress ingress resource okay so host is nginx.example.com it will take us to nginx service on port 80 which is served by this ip address which is basically a pod running and uh, we have tls let's encrypt staging termination so ssl termination for nginx.example.com happens at the ingress controller and also in the logs here you can see the cert managers uh, message saying successfully created the certificate let's encrypt staging okay so which means so we have our nginx nginx deployment we have our nginx deployment and the nginx pod and that's the web application consider that's our web application and we have protected that web application with a with an automated certificate so you didn't generate the certificate you didn't you didn't write the long open ssl command to create the certificate sign in request you didn't get it signed by a certificate authority or anything so everything was done automatically by the cert manager deployment using let's encrypt so now let's try and access this one okay so one additional thing is kubectl um, ingress get all so our ingress controller service has got the ip address from our load balancer from metal lb which is 172.16.16.240 so the idea is so that's your single entry point so that's the ingress controllers entry point so you need to map all your fqd and all your host names to this ip address so then so that you can use this single load balancer for all your 
services. So you can basically create multiple web applications with different host names. For example, nginx.example.com, myservice.example.com, or whatever you want, uh, your microservices. Just point your host name to this IP address, and which is the IP address uh, for the ingress controller. And the ingress controller will take care of routing the traffic to the appropriate backend services inside your Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so I'm going to add this to my etc hosts file. So whenever I type nginx.example.com, it's going to take me to 172.16.16.240, which is this one here. So I know the ingress controller knows that if a request is coming for nginx.example.com, it will redirect that to this nginx service because of the ingress route that we deployed. Okay, let's try that out. Curl nginx.example.com. All right, so it says permanently moved, redirect. So we will follow the redirection by passing the minus uppercase L, nginx.example.com. And now you see the certificate problem because it's not the HTTP protocol. It's expecting the certificate and there's a problem. It's a self-signed certificate, which we don't know how to trust or whether to trust. So we can use the minus K option to ignore the certificate check and that should ignore the certificate validation and take you to the nginx welcome page all right that's welcome to nginx welcome page let's also see the same demo in our browser so if i type nginx.example.com see i'm not typing https i'm just typing plain http nginx.example.com but it's going to take me to https site so you can already see so that's the I'm using Qt browser by the way, so you see the warning is a little different to what you used to see in Chrome or Firefox, but I'll also show what it looks like in Firefox in a moment. Okay, so there's the certificate error because it's a self-signed certificate and it's automatically redirected me to the HTTPS version of nginx.example.com. If I accept the certificate, it's going to take me to the welcome to nginx welcome page. All right, if I open this in Firefox, okay, so that's because I've already accepted this, otherwise it would have shown, it would have shown, let me open that in a private window, nginx.example.com, there we go, it shows us the warning, let me close this one, advanced, accept the risk and continue, that, there we go, we've got the welcome to nginx page, and if I look at the certificate information, view certificate okay certificate organization is acme common name is kubernetes ingress it says kubernetes ingress controller fake certificate validity from 19th july 2022 which is today and it's valid for 365 days one year so on so that's our fake certificate but anyways our web application is now encrypted it's protected by ssl certificate so any traffic between the client and the the nginx web application is now encrypted so that's how you use the nginx sorry the cert manager to automatically create certificates for you all right so i think the, the steps that i have mentioned here are not very different to the to my original video cube 37 but i'm not really sure why it didn't work for that person so please give this a try if you get stuck anywhere in this video let me know i'll be happy to help and I think that's that's it for this video and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep learning and keep on learning. Bye-bye.